Halal? Hello, I'm back today with my go-to date night makeup look. That is if date night does not fall on Valentine's Day because I, single or in a relationship, have never been a Valentine's Day kind of gal. Valentine's Day to me is just another day. The only good thing that comes out of Valentine's Day are the little mini Valentine's Day cupcakes. I usually gorge myself with those and watch something on TV. If you're not a weirdo like me and you actually enjoy Valentine's Day, you can definitely recreate this look on on your hot date night. If you are like me, you can recreate this look and crush cupcakes on your couch like I will be doing. It's just another day. I would much prefer Chris take me out any other day except for Valentine's Day. Plus, everything is overpriced. Everything's packed. Can we just not? Thanks. Anyway, Valentine's Day or not, this is the makeup look that I like to wear when I wanna feel sexy and confident. I just feel that it's very complimentary. I would honestly wear this on my wedding day. Maybe I would tone down the inner corners, but everything else, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if this was my wedding makeup. I am gonna do um, some wedding tutorials closer to spring, but this could very well be a bridal look in my opinion. I love it, I wear it all the time. This has been my go-to look for months now, which is why I haven't really been doing any makeup tutorials because you would be seeing me doing this look over and over and over again. So I hope you guys enjoy it. As always, everything that I use will be listed in the description box below. If I do get this up by Valentine's Day, I hope you guys have a lovely Valentine's Day. Um, if you're like me, I hope you have a happy Thursday on the couch with a pizza, a box of cupcakes, or both. And if you're single, don't sweat it. It's just another day. All right, let's get into it. I probably mentioned in the intro that I'm not like really big on Valentine's Day, but one good thing that has come out of this Valentine's Day are these candies from Trader Joe's. These are their gummy X's and O's. They are so good. I've gone through like two bags of these. Whether or not you like Valentine's Day, I would highly recommend these. Okay, so normally I would moisturize my face with my Embrylisse Let Creme Concentrate, but I'm all out of this. So today I'm gonna moisturize with the e.l.f. Hello Hydration Face Cream with Hyaluronic Acid and Peptide Complex. I ordered this online. I placed a second e.l.f. order. Am I still gonna do that e.l.f. haul that I've been talking about for months? Yes. I've just been testing out the products for a really long time, so I have like a really good understanding of each thing that I purchased. And now I have another batch of products to try before I get that goddamn video. Up. So anyway, this is scented, but it has like a really fresh scent. It's not too overpowering. I like this moisturizer so far. I've only used it like three or four times, but I find that it's really thick and hydrating and it absorbs into the skin really well. Um, it's especially good right now. It has been snowing in Vancouver and my skin has just been reptilian like flaky, gross, and I self tan, so that dries out my skin even more, especially on my face. So far so good. You may notice throughout this video that my nails on each hand look slightly different. I have been practicing the baby boomer French fade French ombre look that I would normally get at the salon. I have taught myself how to do it on my own hands and um, today I just did my right hand using my left hand, which took so freaking long. I don't know, I think it turned out okay. So I'm gonna do my left hand on camera very soon. Stay tuned for that. Moving on to my foundation, I'm rambling and this video is gonna take forever. I'm gonna be using the CoverGirl Vitalist Elixir Foundation with SPF 25. This is in the shade 625 Buff Beige. I have been absolutely loving this foundation. It is so nice. It blends seamlessly, it has great coverage, it wears wonderfully throughout the day. I just, I can't say enough good things about it. I am so glad that I finally was able to pick this up. CoverGirl is cruelty free now, so I've been trying out a lot more of their products and I have been finding some gems. This is one of them. I'm gonna quickly apply that to the face using my Sephora Airbrush Precision Foundation Brush and I'm gonna blend out any excess foundation with my uh, Beauty Blender. I was gonna use a primer today, but I don't really feel like it, so we're gonna skip that. Uh, you know what? For once, my foundation is lighter than my face. Even though this is buff beige and it's actually pretty deep, I went a little bit ham self-tanning last night, so I'm gonna have to mix that foundation with something else. This is Discontinued. It's by Sonia Kashuk. Soft Focus Satin Matte Foundation in the shade Buff 04. I'm so sad that she discontinued her makeup line. I was just starting to love this, and I can't find it anywhere. This is a little bit too deep for me, so what I like to do is apply it to the parameter of my face, but today I'm gonna mix it with my CoverGirl foundation. All right, that's much better. 
For concealer today, I'm going to be using the Flower Beauty Light Illusion High Coverage Concealer in the shade Light. I wish this came in more shades than it does. I feel like light is too deep for me when I am fair, and I think the lightest shade is too peachy for me when I'm fair. So I can really only use this when I'm self-tanned. I'm going to apply this underneath the eyes using the little wand, and then I'm going to blend it out with my damp beauty blender. This has very nice coverage. It's creamy. It's pigmented. I just wish that it came in more shades. As usual, to set everything, I'm going to use my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. While that sits on my face for a little bit, I'm gonna use my Lee Swatier uh, bronzing powder in Eden Tropical. This is discontinued. I feel really bad about it, but I'm trying to get into the habit of using up my old products so that I don't buy new products constantly, which I've gotten a little bit better at lately, but still could use some improvement. Uh, to do this, I'm using a Sigma powder blush brush. This is the F10. I'm just gonna hit up the parameter of my face and uh, a little bit on my nose. I attempted to uh, wax my own stash and Without fail, every single time I try to wax my mustache, which to you may appear non-existent, I am blonde, so the hairs are also blonde on my mustache, but really up close, especially when the sun hits my face, I have major foundation mustache and uh, I hate it. So every single time I try to wax my own mustache without fail, I end up ripping off skin on the very edge of my lip. And I'm beside myself, I don't know. Am I doing something wrong? Clearly. Do you guys have any recommendations for what products I should use to wax my own mustache? Because I'm at my wit's end. I prefer to do it at home, so if you guys have any recommendations of what products I should use or what method I should use, please let me know. Can't be walking around with a foundation mustache. I swear, every single time I do it, I get irritated. I wash my face, dry it, I apply the wax, I apply the strip. Sometimes I get the strips with the wax already on them. I wax the mustache, I put that blue oil stuff on for any excess wax that might be stuck in my mustache hairs. Wow, this is really sexy. This is great for Valentine's Day. This is real life. And then afterwards, after a few hours, I notice not only do I break out a little bit over here, but my skin looks raw and then I develop a little scab, usually in the corners right here. And then I gotta go back in with tweezers and pluck any hairs that are left behind. And I gotta wait days for the scab to heal before I can wear proper foundation and it's just not a good time. Like I'd much rather have a mustache than have a scab, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, long story short, please hit a girl up in the comments with any recommendations. My mustache and I appreciate it. Brother! I always like to add a little bit of my Annabelle Perfect Bronze Bronzing Pressed Powder in the shade Sunkissed to the very tip of my nose. I don't know, I just, I like shimmery bronzers on my nose. What it is, it just gives me a very cute sun-kissed look. So that's what I'm gonna do when I'm using a Delium Tools 944 brush. All right, now it is time to fill in my brows. I'm using the e.l.f. Ultra Precise Brow Pencil in the shade Taupe. I actually quite like this little guy. It's a lot less expensive than the other brow products that I use, so I'm gonna zoom you in nice and close to fill in my brows so you can actually see what I'm doing. So I don't think I've done that in a little while. I'm just gonna brush out my brow with a little spoolie and then just go in and fill everything in as I see fit.
Once I've got the general shape down, what I like to do is take a MAC 217 brush with my foundation and clean up the top of my brow. And then with my concealer, I clean up the underside of my brow. And the concealer I'm using today is the Essence Camouflage Full Coverage Concealer in Ivory. I've just been using this to clean up my eyebrows lately because I'm all out of my Makeup Revolution one. When I'm cleaning my brow with this concealer, I also just like to drag the excess downwards and just very slightly prime my eyes. I don't always prime my eyes, to be honest. Depends on how I'm feeling that day. Today, I don't think I'm going to because the eyeshadows that I'm using look pretty good without primer. And to set my eyebrows, I'm using my usual Soap and Glory Archery Brow 2-in-1. The name has completely rubbed off. It's the gel side of this little guy. I love this gel. I wish they would sell it separately. I say this every single time, but it's just so good. And I like to brush my brows upwards with it. And after I set my brows, I just go back in with a little bit more concealer for my tail. All right, people, it's time for eyeshadow. Could you guess what eyeshadow palette I'm gonna use today? I've been using this every day for weeks, maybe months, because I am a creature of habit and I'm lazy. Today, we're gonna be working with the e.l.f. Opposites Attract palette. There she is in all of her glory. We are going to start out with Saucy with a Sigma tapered blending brush. This is the E40. I'm gonna blow that out all over my crease. Okay, I have a confession. I don't think this brush was clean when I dipped it into that eyeshadow because um, it's actually a lot prettier than it normally is. I feel like there might have been a little bit of brown eyeshadow on here because this is looking a lot more saucy than saucy, if you know what I'm saying. I'm not mad at it though. You definitely don't have to follow along with this tutorial. You can just use whatever you have in your collection that looks similar to what I'm using. That's how I used to do my YouTube channel. I would never really talk too much about specific products that I'm using. I would just tell you what shade that I'm using and advise you to use whatever you have in your collection that looks similar. Like you don't have to go out and buy this palette. I'm sure you have a shade just like this in your collection. So use that. Anyway, next up, I'm gonna dip into the shade Warm using a Sigma Blending E25 brush and I'm going to place it on the outer corner over here and drag it to the middle of my eye. Now, I'm not gonna dip back into this eyeshadow with whatever is left on my brush here. I'm gonna drag it just all over the front portion of my lid, but I don't want it to be as deep as this outer corner, you know? I just want just a little bit of color. All right, next up. I'm gonna dip into the shade Sassy, which is this one right here, with a MAC 221 brush. And I'm going to apply it just up here to kind of buff out this shade. I just want a little bit more peachiness to my look, a little bit more warmth. And I'm pretty much dragging that shade like all the way up to my brows and blowing out the edges. There's no real rhyme or reason to this look. I just want it to be nice and smoldering and sexy.
Typically these thrown together looks are what I wear day to day. The really intense cut creases and super artistic makeup looks, I don't normally wear day to day. I pretty much just do those for videos or if I'm going to like a special event. All right, next, using my finger, I'm gonna dip into spicy here and I'm going to press that into the center of my lid. I find that the shimmers in this palette are best applied with the fingertips. Um, I've used all sorts of brushes and this is just the best, you know? And after I've applied that, I'm gonna go back in with this dude and just kind of blend out the edges. This isn't a halo eye, I just wanted a little bit of shimmer in the center of my lid, you know? I want to add a little something to my brow bone and I kind of want to use something in this palette just because it makes sense rather than going back and forth between this palette and another palette. So the only shade that I see here that could go on my brow is low key right here. And I'm not a huge fan of this. It's not the nicest shade. It looks nice on my finger, but it doesn't look like that on the lid. Despite that, I'm gonna suck it up and use it because the last few times that I used it on my brow bone, it actually wasn't that bad, at least not in photographs. We're gonna give it a whirl and I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Uh, flat eyeshadow brush. These brushes are actually really good. I'm very impressed with their new um, black handled brushes. This is like an iridescent, kind of like pinky orange. So the eyeshadow is all done and what I've really been liking lately is applying just a really thin brown eyeliner pressed up right against my lash line. Today, I'm gonna be using the Pixi Endless Silky Eye Pen in the shade Matte Mulberry. And I'm literally just gonna lightly drag it across my lash line, barely applying any pressure and I'm gonna end it at the end here. I'm not going to wing it out or anything. Sometimes what I do is I take this, I warm it up on the back of my hand and I apply it with uh, like an angle brush, but I think I can get away with just applying it directly from the pencil. So I'm going to stop talking so I can focus while I do this. It is the smallest little detail, but it makes such a huge difference, especially when my mascara and my eyelashes and my lower lash lines all done up. You can kind of tell that my eyes look more blue with this on my lash line. I really, really like it. Sometimes what I do is I'll take a little synthetic brush like this and just kind of smudge out that eyeliner to make it look a little bit more smoky. Now I'm just gonna curl my lashes and apply some mascara. As usual, I'm using my Marc Jacobs uh, Velvet Noir Major Volume Mascara in the shade Noir. I love this mascara. I love the applicator. Look at how fluffy my lashes look when I apply this. Look at that fluff. I like to kind of pull my lashes away from my face this way. If that makes any sense, I just kind of direct them to point that way. Inevitably, I get a little bit of mascara on my eyelid here without fail every single time. I just let it dry and then once it's dry, I'll just flake it off with a brush. You definitely don't have to apply false lashes with this look if and when you recreate it. I feel like it looks great without false lashes because I added that brown eyeliner. It kind of gave the lash line a bit more volume. So if you just curl your lashes and throw on some mascara, you're good to go. The ones that I'm using today are number 11s by Kiss Lashes. What I like to do is trim off the very end of the eyelash and then stack it onto itself at the end. You'll notice that the last few lashes on here are a bit more thick and voluminous than the inner corner of the lash. And then I just place these on my lash line and I'm good to go. I think I was talking a bit too much there and uh, the eyelash glue dried and it's not as tacky so I'm gonna have to go in with a bit more lash glue to adhere this end because it's not sticking. So now I've got my eyelash secured in place. I just like trimming the outer edge a little bit because I like for my false lash to start around here, not at the very inner corner of my eye because then if my eye waters 
sometimes it'll come undone in the front and I just like to leave this area open. I don't like it super busy with lash hairs, if that makes sense. I'm gonna start working on my lower lash line and I'm gonna just take the same shades that are in my crease and drag them along my bottom lash line. So let's start out with a combination of saucy and warm and I'm gonna be using my MAC 221 brush to do this and I'm literally just smoking out the bottom lash line. Then I'm dipping just into warm, which is that matte brown shade, and I'm gonna focus it on like the outer edge of my lower lash line. And I'm blowing it out pretty far down. Love that grungy blown out look. I'm gonna dip back into Saucy with this e.l.f. detail crease brush and I'm gonna just blow out this inner corner with that shade. Now I'm gonna take my Pixie Eye Bright Liner in the shade number one nude, which is this bad boy right here. I love this stuff and I'm gonna run it along my waterline and then I'm gonna apply the same mascara that I applied to my top lashes to my bottom lashes. I just love the way this mascara looks on the bottom, especially with like a blown out lower lash line. One last finishing touch to my eyes and then we can move on to the rest of the face. I'm gonna be using this Koki Cosmetics Duo Metallic Shadow in the shade Gone Platinum. The top part of this duo eyeshadow is a cream and the bottom is kind of like a pigment. I wouldn't say the bottom is like a really smooth pigment. It's more like a flaky metallic pigment. It's absolutely beautiful. So with a Morphe M421 brush, I'm gonna dip into the cream side and I'm gonna pick up a little bit of this product. I'm going to apply it to the inner corner of my eye. This basically acts as an adhesive for the pigment. And then I'm gonna shake this up and dip into flakes here using that same brush. Place it over top of where that cream is. I don't think the camera does it justice. I had this on in the intro of my blush declutter and a couple of you asked me what I had in my inner corner. This was it. This comes in a bunch of different shades. I wanna pick them all up. I think they're so gorgeous, but I especially love Gone Platinum or the inner corner. It looks kind of crazy right now. Once I move back and do the rest of my face, it just, it looks so freaking pretty and it looks especially nice in photographs. Okay, one last thing I'm gonna do here is take my Cover FX Pressed Mineral Foundation Powder in the shade N10 and with a Sigma large shader brush, this is the E60. I'm gonna dip into it and I'm just gonna clean up underneath my eye and on the outer edge of my eye. I like to use a skin toned powder like this to just clean up any fallout. This just kind of cleans up the eyeshadow a little bit. All right, let's move on to the rest of the face. I'm gonna use my CoverGirl Cheekers blush in the shade Iced Cappuccino, and I'm gonna apply that to the apples of my cheeks using a Delium Tools 944 brush. This is the same brush that I bronzed my nose with. I absolutely love this blush. I talked about this in my blush declutter. It's kind of similar to NARS Madly, which I also love. It's like the perfect pinky nude shade. Love it. And for highlighter, I'm gonna use the Flower Beauty Shimmer and Strobe Highlighting Palette. And I'm gonna dip into this beautiful champagne shade here. I'm gonna apply it to the highest points of my cheeks as well as the bridge of my nose. I've just, I've really been loving this. If you want an intense highlight, I would highly recommend this. If you use it light-handed though, you can get a very beautiful natural highlight. But for those of you that just love bathing yourself in it, you're not gonna be disappointed in this. This, by the way, is an e.l.f. highlighter brush. It is so good. I love it. Before I apply my lip products, I'm gonna dip into my Koki 
powder contour palette and I'm gonna take a little bit of this cool tone shade with just a random eyeshadow brush. This is the True Fiction Pro Blend and I'm just gonna contour my bottom lip, just the underneath part. As if my bottom lip really needs this, I wish I could do this to my top lip because my top lip is the one that's on the struggle bus. It's non-existent when I speak. Before I do my lips, I gotta take this off because I'm starting to get a headache. This has been my favorite lip combination lately. First, I like to go in with my Koki Cosmetics Retractable Lip Liner in Warm Nude, line my lips, fill them in a little bit. Then I like to take my CoverGirl Demi Matte Lipstick in the shade Streaker. This is like a beautiful nude shade for every day and I fill in my lips with it. These lipsticks are so smooth and creamy and pigmented and they taste really sweet. And I could leave it at that, but I like to also take my CoverGirl Cream Lipstick in the shade Honey to Bloom and apply it just to the center of the lips for an extra little oomph, you know? Kind of gives the lips a little bit more volume. These two lipsticks just mesh together so well. Oh, I can't get enough. I'm absolutely in love with this combination. Honeyed Bloom, I feel, would be the perfect bridal lip shade. I would totally wear this on my wedding day. I love this makeup. I feel so confident in it. It photographs beautifully. Who knows? Maybe this is how I'll do my makeup for my wedding. So the last thing I would do is set my whole face with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I'm really low on this though, and it's actually pretty pricey for a drugstore, so I don't wanna waste it because I'm just gonna go eat something and hang out on my couch after I'm done filming this video. But let's just pretend that I used it on my face. Really beautiful mister, smells really great. I wouldn't really say that it sets my makeup in place, but it does kind of melt everything together in the best way. So let's just pretend that I use that. Alrighty, that completes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. As always, everything that I used will be listed in the description box below. Thank you guys very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing and staying subscribed. And I'll see you in my next one. Okay, love you, bye.